Are you alone in the house? You're bored? You got nothing to do? How about doing five guys in your house? What? Today in Healthy Junk Food, we're going to be doing everything to five guys. It's our missionary position to find out why their beef is so good. Little fun fact, there's actually six guys. They had another son. But what about the mom? Yeah, what about the mom? She should be called six guys, one girl. By the end of this video, you'll be well educated on how you can make their entire menu in the comfort of your own home. Starting with toppings. You can't have five guys without condiments. And there's a lot. <laughs> There's an estimated 250,000 ways to customize the menu. And to make ordering even easier, you can go all the way with five guys. Except it's only, only the black options. Let's go over the easy ones. Mayo, ketchup, mustard, pickles, tomatoes, this getting repetitious, grilled onions, grilled mushrooms, cook them down, set aside. I got romaine, five guys uses iceberg, it's okay. We've prepped all of the black toppings. We have to just keep going onto the red ones. Red begins with R, so does relish. How do you make relish? Instacart. Same with everything on this topping list. Can you imagine making all of these sauces? Like, <laughs> <clears throat> Now that the toppings are prepped, let's get to building our restaurant. Arts and Crafts time with JP! Woo! Hi everybody, welcome back to Arts and Crafts time with JP. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be making the entire restaurant of Five Guys. Starting with the menu boards. So I found these perfect photos of the menu online, then I popped them in the Photoshop, redrew them, and then just printed out in sections and taped to foam core. I then realized I can use this method in creating the entire restaurant. Tape and paper, super domestic. I'm like Liberty Mutual. Do your taxes here! Come on, <laughs> do your taxes! We previously had our set, but we're like, hey, let's just strip down all the walls. Taking out little who's was it's taking the books away. Bye, logo. That thing doesn't even work. <laughs> well, maybe just put the bottom of it just above here. It's a lot of work to open up a restaurant, huh? <laughs> this is a big investment of our time. Not really, we have nothing to do. These are cell phone. Car mount things. We really should be using those in a car. Okay, so where do you want me to put the tile? On the bottom. This is looking better though. When we're done, it's gonna be like we're in five guys. It's gonna be awesome. What we had on the backdrop, it didn't look good. And we're like, dude, you know what we need? We need that famous Five Guys red and white checkered tile thing. We're gonna make this look better. And then it got us the idea, wait a second, we could just fill the entire wall with paper. <laughs> now that we know this, we're painting the wall white, but right now it's paper, a temporary solution. Everything just started to come together. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> it looks so real, but it's not. Yeah, it's like if you're zoomed in, it's like, wow, I think you're there. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> gotcha. You've been to a Five Guys. The sign's everywhere. It's kind of gloating about how awesome they are. Constantly flexing. Best Burger 2001. The Willy Wonka of burgers. So we're like, hey, we got to make our own signs. And we had a lot of fun with that. For example, these are our signs. I fed Five Guys to my tiger. I guess that every Five Guys is a sign that says, today's potatoes are from, and then they write where they're from. I mean, that's pride in a potato. Every attention to detail matters here. I want to know where my food comes from too, Five Guys. They are from, like this, like this video. Yes, a wonderful place. I don't know if y'all watched the Chipotle video. Well, we still have it. Oh. Careful. She's rusty. Since Chipotle, it's broke. Let's not reinvent the wheel here. So don't you have a printout of this before that you could just put this stuff on? So we designed a Five Guys banner, we taped it all together, and then folded it over the Chipotle, taped it back up, and la di da It's upside down. Welcome to Moe's. Does it look like I work there? Yes. With just a little dibbity-doo and a bippity-bop, little menu tickle and a whoop de hoo Now, we are open for business, except you can only get delivery or takeout. Fun fact, Five Guys only makes your food to go. Yeah, but they do allow you to eat it there, except for... Now, no. right now they... If you're watching this video in the future, you probably know what happened. We're in quarantine. Ever wonder why Five Guys bacon tastes so good? They use applewood smoked bacon, and then they grill it to perfection. How do, they, it's so hey, how do you guys make the bacon? Is it on the flat top? It's a shatter test. You have to hold it a certain height and it has to fall into at least three pieces. 
Oh wow. my goodness, I wow. love it. I think they lied to us. I don't want my bacon any crispier than that. Like, in my opinion, that's perfect bacon. I don't care if it doesn't shatter. When you can't go to Five Guys, make it at home. French fries, one of the most popular and iconic foods of Five Guys. They're hand cut fries, actually cut by a machine. Next step, ice bath takes off the starch, makes them crispy, and then we're ready for the first fry. Hey, put a timer on for two and a half minutes. You can't do that. Five Guys doesn't use timers. Another fun fact. How do they know? They probably have a timer. They don't. After you deep fry it for the first two and a half minutes, then it refries again and it's already pre-cooked. Five Guys fries in my house. Grab a white cup, pour it in a bag. This is, <laughs> doesn't really scoop very well. Then grab some more, pour some more in the bag. Grab another cup, pour that in the bag. Excuse me, ma'am, can I have more fries? I ordered the small. There's a rumor out there that people actually complain about having too many french fries in their bag is like complaining about a stimulus package coming into their bank account. <laughs> That's not enough. Why did you just keep scooping more cheeseburgers into my bag? <laughs> My house is too comfortable. <laughs> Are you gonna be mad that I gave you too much? How absurd! Oh my gosh. <laughs> we get it, they give you a lot of fries. But those aren't the best fries. Cajun. What's in it? McCormick Cajun Seasoning Blend. You can either buy it right now on Amazon or make it yourself out of a lot of other seasonings that you might wanna buy on Amazon if you don't have. <laughs> So we're gonna throw in garlic powder, sea salt, black pepper, oregano, chili powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, and some white pepper. That's the Cajun seasoning, you did such a good job. Where'd that mortar and pestle come from? All right, Cajun coming up. No timer, we got this. We know based on color. Oh yeah, those look gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That's Cajun fry. Look at them. <laughs> we're in Five Guys right now. Except we don't have to pay any like corporate management fees. Beef, what's for dinner? Also the most important component to Five Guys. They use standard 80-20 ground beef. There's zero freezers at Five Guys. So their meat comes fresh in giant bags. And then they just weigh out three and a half ounces each. They're perfectly pressed out. And the employees are trained not to press down on the patties because that's how fat and flavor escapes. So Five Guys has a crazy secret menu and there are a lot of things on there. They do a burger bowl, in and out animal style. Is that what you're talking about? Chicago style hot dog and then the sloppy joe. So we're gonna make some off that list that we thought looked really tasty. I'm gonna do a JP special. What's that gonna be? Everything. Two grilled cheese sandwiches make up the buns in this hefty burger. Yes. So you're just gonna make two grilled cheeses out of the buns and then you're gonna stack it and then make food that way. Grilled cheese number one, grilled cheese number two. This is now the top bun, this is the bottom bun. What toppings do you want on yours? Cause right now I'm just got bacon. Oh man, is that what you're putting on yours? Doesn't that look awesome? This is the unhealthiest way to eat five guys. I'm glad you're demonstrating that, Julia. You, you make me proud. What, that's insane. Here, let me grab the rest underneath. Here you go. Oh my God, I'm burning my hands. There you go, there you go. You're good. The rest is for me. Look at this thing. It's beautiful, oh no, it's almost too much. Look at this, JP. Wow. <laughs> this is this is so dumb. Let's wrap it up and deliver it to my face. <laughs> Here's mine. You put a hot dog on it? Yeah, and then I'm gonna add my other crap to it. I didn't even see that get built. I'm kind of proud of you, a little bit. <laughs> Who's, do you want more? Julia's or JP's? <laughs> I couldn't even wrap my mouth around it. I think I died and just slid into Five Guys. I feel like I might weigh as much as Five Guys after eating this. <laughs> so good. And a hot dog on there is actually really good. Five Guys doesn't do that, I don't think. Hey JP, you know if you just take all these ingredients and just mix them together, we can make a salad. <laughs> Restaurant's ready to open. I know, I'm almost done. It almost looks better in the game than in real life. <laughs> Come on, we got real deliveries. We got real orders to take. Thanks for calling Five Guys. Is this pickup or delivery? It's gonna be for delivery. All right, perfect, that's in our reach. <laughs> it's gonna have to send you to another Five Guys. Thank you for calling Five Guys. Is this for pickup or delivery? Pickup. Pickup? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> you guys do double cheeseburgers? Um, actually, we just do cheeseburgers. They always come double. Can I get a uh, 
bacon cheeseburger, like all the way? Uh, extra tomatoes? Um, just the jalapenos. Do we have jalapenos? Okay. Extra cheese and bacon is free too, but normally we don't tell our customers, but we like you. Really? So if you well, want extra cheese and bacon, we got absolutely. you. Absolutely. Extra cheese and extra bacon. Are you, you really want a burger with just jalapenos on it? Well, it's got cheese, right? Cheese and bacon and jalapenos? Perfect. Oh. Do you want like ketchup or mustard or nothing or? Uh, A1 sauce. Oh God. You're gonna, you're gonna eat this, right? Like this is what you. <laughs> Did you want those fries to be Cajun or just the regular? Oh, Cajun. Yep. And I'm sorry we're not doing milkshakes. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't order a milkshake, so that's <laughs> Peanuts? Well, yeah, you can throw some peanuts in there. That'd be cool. Oh, you can only get them if you come in. Never mind. You can't have peanuts. I think that's all I got to say to you now. Dude, thanks for being open. Perfect. See you soon. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Freaking jalapenos and steak sauce. You can't judge people. Everyone's got their own taste. I got you. All right, order up. All right, we got a bacon cheeseburger all the way, extra tomato, extra cheese, double extra bacon. I'm gonna pick up another order. You got that? I got it. We want two cheeseburgers. Bottom on the left, top on the right. If they want extra tomatoes, they're gonna get three. That's how I roll. It's just cheese in the middle, right? Yep, just cheese in the middle. And then on the other side, the rest of our toppings. Extra cheese. Double extra bacon, pickles, grilled mushrooms, onions, and then finally, the burger patty. The other ticket, we got cheeseburger, bacon, jalapenos, and A1 sauce, I'm not making that. We got a bacon, cheeseburger, Cajun fries, veggie burger, cold to meat, ketchup, mustard, grilled mushrooms, grilled onions. What? It's not a big enough tabletop for me. Another cheeseburger, mayo, ketchup, grilled mushrooms, some onion. Bacon, cheeseburger all the way, mayo, lettuce, tomato, another dog, Bacon ketchup hot sauce. Here, you gotta get this bacon on too. Oh yeah, I forgot about the bacon. Cajun fries, regular. Another dog bun going down. Grilled onions, tomato mustard. Got it. Looking good. Boom. Close it and wrap it. I just wanna make sure our customer that's getting a veggie burger doesn't mind if some meat, like, careful, there's, we got some raw meat on there. It's a curbside, you gotta bring it outside. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay, I didn't put pickle on it and a veggie burger. Yes. Thank you. Yep. All right, we're doing the bacon drop test. Broken three places, just like it's supposed to. Bacon goes on the lettuce tomato side. Wrap it up nice and good and tight. But I need Cajun fries for this order. We'll just throw them in the bag. Yeah, put them in the bag. And then put a cup in there and pretend that they're in the cup. Let's go. Grab the car key. Delivery time. JP, you're the one eating them. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm good, I'm good. Delivery used to be so much more personal, but now it's very kind of awkward. Actually, can you Venmo that? We don't touch cash. See, he's one of us. Thank you for your services. We are internet post mating. You can't eat the fries. Hello, hello. You lost the cat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, the, the cat doesn't know how to stay home. Last drop off. Where's the address? Oh. There's a stairs right there. All right, well, we just got some Five Guys delivered. I got dinner. Uh, oh my God, it looks so good. Man, they nailed that seasoning. They're pretty good. Check out Pumpkin the Bear. It's spot on. I've been craving Five Guys. What? No A1 sauce. I thought I ordered A1. An A1 sauce, I'm not making that. I never know what they're up to, but this is legit Five Guys food. Thank you so much for including me again in another video. I enjoy being a part of this stuff. I know you have to sit here and watch the editing and everything, so thank you. I appreciate it. All right guys, and you have it, Five Guys in our house. What are your favorite restaurants that you wish you could go in and have an experience at right now? Comment what it is. We don't got milkshakes, and what else don't we have? We don't have any Coca-Cola beverages. We don't have any beverages, so we're just gonna be doing hot food. You don't have any milkshake? What is this, McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> we could, like, if you really wanted a milkshake. We don't have any ice cream. Oh, we don't have any ice cream, so it'd just be milk. 